if you want one of the strangest movies you'll see this year, you should check out Brian and Charles. Hey everyone, this is David Starr from Watcher Pass. Today I'm talking about Brian and Charles, which comes to theaters on June 17, 2022. It's an indie comedy drama that has a lot of strangeness, some quirky characters, and just an overall weirdness to it that is endearing now my hot take is i think you should rent it i was kind of between a rent and a buy i really love just how strange it was like this film is is a very unique movie uh i liked you know the characters i like their interactions uh, but the film is a little bit slow and the i don't know antagonist in this movie just i didn't really understand what was going on with him so overall i think it's a rental but if you did watch it i think you'll really enjoy it. it's kind of in between a watch and a rental so i don't think you can go wrong either way i'm gonna tell you a little about the film a few things i like and a few things i didn't like in brian and charles you have brian who's this lonely inventor in this small town in rural wales is a, a very smart person but he comes up with these just these horrible inventions kind of think in the simpsons when homer tried to become an inventor like his inventions are just ridiculous i don't remember exactly what they were but it's like here's a breakfast shotgun that'll like shoot flaming hot eggs at you and like here's a machine that like will or will open all your boxes and it like shreds them like things like that and eventually he and he decides to take on his greatest creation yet and he invents this robot named charles who he's hoping will become his friend they do become friends, but there is a there is a fun little dynamic between them, and Brian and Charles affect each other more than I think either of them could have ever thought. So, things I liked about this movie, I've said it a couple times, but like the strangest, this movie is a weird movie. Uh, Brian is a very interesting character. His inventions are horrible and entertaining. His dilemma is kind of like a mix between fun and depressing because he's in this rural town. He's very lonely, but he has this kind of these these weird mannerisms and this like strangeness about him that is just fun to see. And when you see Charles, Charles also is this like strange character. He doesn't look like your conventional robot. He, he has a, like a body of a washing machine. So he has this giant square in the middle of him. His face is like from a mannequin. Uh, his, his arms are kind of flopping around. It is really fun to see Charles and like this is the ridiculousness of him. And also how Brian and him interact and some of the things that go about as they are becoming friends. And like Brian is teaching Charles about this world. And that kind of leads me right to the next thing. The second thing I loved is Charles. Like, Charles is a fun character. I really liked how you thought that, like, Brian and Charles would be best friends. Like, he would become this, like, instant friend. Uh, but Charles' character started off more like a child. And that, that makes sense, right? Like, he doesn't know anything. So he's starting to learn about the world. He's, he learns English from a dictionary. So he has this, like, dictionary-like definition of the English language. And he kind of goes through emotions like a child growing up. So as he gets more experience he becomes maybe more of like a like a teenager like maybe he becomes a little more rebellious and that's fun to see this you know robot progression happen on screen and, and charles as a character is just really fun he has this like strange robotic type of voice that doesn't show emotion but it kind of contributes to the overall quirk and, and humor in this film and the third thing i liked related to that is the humor this film, film has a really nice kind of dry humor part of it is charles learning about this world and some of the things that he says uh related to that and part of it is just this film is kind of a, a weird quirky movie that has a lot of funny scenes in it because of just the situation that is happening the things i didn't love as much the first is the antagonist there is an antagonist in this film uh he basically is just this bully in this town he kind of takes what he wants his family you know are, are basically unchained they do whatever they want in this town and everyone's kind of afraid of them i didn't really understand like what was going on maybe it's because of the, that i don't understand the dynamic he just felt like he was a jerk to be a jerk and maybe that was the point maybe he was supposed to be that way but there almost was no redeeming quality about any of them uh they were just kind of like there to cause chaos and be annoying i don't know i didn't i didn't love that about it it wasn't bad i mean it provided an avenue for some conflict to happen but it also just felt like weird. Like, why are they doing this? What's going on? Maybe it was just so they could, you know, keep their hold on this rural Welsh town. But to me, it just felt a little bit uh, undeveloped. And the second thing I did not love as much is the pace. Like, this movie is a slowly paced film. That's kind of what you get in a movie where you're, he's, you're getting this budding friendship and he's teaching him about it. But there were definitely some scenes where I kind of like, you know, lost my attention because not much was going on. Now, it's still a fun movie. It still has a, a very interesting kind of situation and a very interesting style to it. But overall, the pace just like didn't keep my attention. Like I thought it would. I thought I was going to be enthralled in this movie. And there were some parts where I really liked it, but there were some parts where I was like, okay, this is kind of slow. Like let's move this along. 
So that is Brian and Charles. It's coming to theaters on June 17th, 2022. It is a unique film. It is a quirky film. It's one that, you know, I think is ultimately a rental, but if you did go out and watch it, I don't think you'd be disappointed. I think this is a film that's going to be kind of strange and appeal to you if you like uh, kind of quirky indie films. So definitely check it out if you're interested. And thanks so much for watching. So if you like this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Oh, and during the credits, there is a like a kind of a an easter egg um definitely watch the credits there's no like video but there's some fun audio that happens during it so definitely make sure to watch the credits in this movie thank you